She is one of the most respected Appalachian musicians in the world, and she is with our Terry West right now. Terry? Thanks, Julie. That's right. I am with Miss Dulcimer. Can I call you that, Jean? <laughs> Well, old lady Dulcimer is more like it. No, absolutely not. Gene Ritchie. Gene, I didn't know you're from Viper, right? Viper, Kentucky. I'm from Viper all over the world. <laughs> that Dulcimer is taking you places, right? Right. right. If you don't care, please, uh, this is pretty much your life, right? Yes, well, it's part of my life. I yeah. also write and I travel and do concerts and. Um, um, housework. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I can understand that. If you don't care, please tell me a little bit about the roots of the dulcimer. Well, you're sitting in the sort of the, the cradle of the dulcimer uh, country, in this part of the country. Um, in this community, around the Forks of Troublesome, lived a man in the early eight, 1800s mm -hmm. whose name was Eddie Thomas, and he had a neighbor, McKinley Craft, and the two of them made dulcimers. Okay. Nobody knows where they learned, but they've, uh, ever since then, the Dulcimers travel from here all over the world. It's no, been handed down, I see. Right. Okay. Would you care to play some for us, please? Sure. Okay. I'll play a little play party game called uh, March Down to Old Tennessee. It was all one right. my mom and dad used to use when they were courting. Right. Here we go. Here stands a couple, join hearts and hands. Thank you, Gene. I appreciate it so very, very much. Folks, like we mentioned, there are a wide variety of artists at this year's Folk Festival Days.